yeast cells turn sugar into ethanol, but that doesn't mean the fungi necessarily love swimming in alcohol. Most brewer's yeast struggle once their environment exceeds about 5% alcohol by volume. So how are brewers cranking out beers that are above 10%? To find the answer, CNN spoke with Avery Brewing Company microbiologist Dan Driscoll. We have some beers that range as high as 17 to 18 uh, percent, and the, the yeast is very unhappy. It's not uncommon when we attempt those beers to have an incomplete fermentation and have to dump that beer and start over. The yeast is inherently picky. Yeah, there are definitely certain strains that operate better in, in high alcohol beers. Different alcohol tolerances in, between different strains of yeast are, are very common. Although yeast shoulder most of the burden in creating the alcohol, brewers need to chip in too. Max Filter from Renegade Brewing in Denver explains. We create an environment for our yeast to make high ABV beers by providing more sugar than you typically would. This is where we get into conversations about doubles and triples. Sugar comes from grains, such as barley. Brewers get to the sugar by soaking malted grains in hot water inside what's called a mash tun. For a double, brewers need about twice the grain they would use for a normal brew. For a triple, the multiplier is closer to three. Our Elevation Triple IPA, the E3, is difficult beer because we max out our mash tun. We could not fit any more grain into the mash tun for this beer. Our owner actually broke our previous mash tun by trying to push this recipe. High alcohol content beers are demanding all around, but when they're done right, brewers are left with a well-balanced beer that has a little extra oomph, and that's something they can enjoy along with their customers. I love it when I'm pouring someone one of my beers, and I finally tell them, hey, that's 10.5%, you should be careful. I say, oh wow, really, I couldn't even tell. You know, that's, if that is the case, I've done my job properly.